Louise from Planet Bosch and I'm here with the guys from Shock Hazard. We're currently on tour with the Biters and I think this is your penultimate gig in the UK. One more. One more in the UK, yeah. And then you're going to Amsterdam. Yeah. Um, can you just introduce yourselves please and tell us what you do in the band? I'm Dex, so I play bass in the band. I'm Jake and I play guitar and sing. And he's lost his voice and he's a dom and he hits the drums. <laughs> Now I did see you guys on the second night of the tour, that was in Nottingham. Now I think I missed a couple of songs because when I got in there, I said, oh, come back in 10 minutes, we've not started yet. So hopefully I'll catch a full set tonight. So what have the highlights of the tour been so far? London was a good show. Yeah, London was good. There was two in London, didn't you? No, no, we only did one, one but Biters did two. Biters did two. Um, yeah, that was a good show. We was tucked into that crowd surfing. Um, I jumped in the bar and had a little bit of a walk around. I was losing my mind a bit. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. Most of the shows have been really good. Did any sort of hometown gigs for you guys? Uh, we did Norwich, yeah, which is... Yeah, nice to come home. Yeah, we stayed at home for two days, so it's yeah. nice to get over a bit. Um, the Norwich show wasn't too bad, actually. It was good to have our friends and family come and watch us on a tour, because normally the tours we do, they bypass going home. So it was nice for them to see what we're like when we're actually playing on a tour rather than just playing down the local. Well, that was good. And have you been showing biters around some of England's attractions? Yeah, we um, went to <laughs> we went to the Stonehenge. <laughs> we got thrown out. Oh, we decided we wouldn't pay £15, so we all jumped the fence and then... <laughs> Security thought we looked out of place, so we got escorted off the premises. Oh, and Tuck kept going up to him. Yeah, Tuck kept going like this. He was like, I've got all access, I've got all access. And the guy was like, You need one of these ones, sir. <laughs> oh, but at least you saw it. Yeah, and we spent the day in Edinburgh as well, which is really nice. We didn't have a show there, we just spent the day off and stayed at one of the bars that we play at. He put us up for the night, so we went and took him around the castle and stuff, so that's really good. Yep, sounds really good. And. Apparently, biters get flashed at a lot in their gigs by women showing their breasts. Do you, you guys get that as well? No. no we just get guys doing it. <laughs> I was going to ask him that was a shock, but I'm just going to have another dog. If you don't get flashed at, that's No, it hasn't happened yet. And you're, bit, you're at Ruby Lounge tonight in Manchester. Yep. Have you already sound checked? Yeah, everything sound checked, stage is all set up. I've mean, really been there for a long time, but last time I went, I seemed to remember there been a barrier in front of the stage. Is it still there? Uh, there's a little bit of a barrier, but nothing, not like a proper one. Because I, I know that when you were in Nottingham, you were up, but you were up on uh, like a pillar in the middle. Yeah, there is another thing. On the bar. Yeah, so you're yeah. going to bolt this little bit of a barrier. And... Yeah, probably. Hop over, find somewhere to jump on. <laughs> last night it was a big speaker stack. We were in where were we last yeah. night? Wolverhampton. And there was a big speaker stack, so I had to just climb up on top of it. <laughs> and I, I know you said one of your influences was like Airborne, and I wondered if that was where you got the influence to climb up the stacks and things. Yeah, them yeah. and ACDC, like old school ACDC Angus. I used to read stories of how he used to jump on the bar and there'd be people smashing bottles at his feet. And I was like, that's pretty fucking cool, actually. So I just started doing it and tried to up my game every time, see where I can get. Yeah, should be good. And I noticed uh, one thing that you noticed as well in Nottingham was you were burning some money. So yeah, we've stopped, stopped that. Oh, stopped it. <laughs> well, it's just a, a piece of fake flash paper money, which we burn as our kind of way of showing that we don't agree with capitalism. But we found that when we were coming off stage, people thought it was a real £20. And then they were a little bit uneasy at giving us money for our CDs. They thought we were just going to burn it. And we're like, no, no, no. Although we hate it, we do need it to eat. <laughs> so we've stopped that act for now. But the message is still there. We're going to find other ways to bring it into the set. So, you're a free piece at the moment. Is this the original lineup? Um, kind of. Us two are brothers. We've had four drummers over the years. <laughs> he's our longest standing. He's been with us, what, two and a half years? But he did quit. He did three years. He did quit last year for about four months. He went to college. He was like, guys, go back to college. I'm going to get sorted. And now he's back. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask. Like you're from Deerham, is it pronounced Deerham or Deerham? Deerham. Deerham in Norfolk. Is there much else to do in Norfolk if you don't work with Bernard Matthews and his turkeys? Not really. What do you want to say? 
No, alright. Uh, we both work at our mum's cafe in Deerham. He works in the cafe. He works too. in the cafe at the NHS. Um, and that's about it. There, there is not much. much. Just really drinking coffee. To do. Yeah. So there's been quite a few good bands coming out of Knock, and I believe Bad Touch. Are they from Yeah, as well? no. Yeah, we were getting comfortable. <coughs> yeah. We were quite good about that. <laughs> Burning Crows, Burning Crows are they great friends, friends yeah, there? We like Burning Crows, they're good. good we friends. played their, oh, like them both. Al, was it their album launch we played in Norwich yeah, recently? Yeah. Their new album, which is yeah. a really good album actually, and we played with them loads of times. So, is it a good scene in Norfolk, like a rock scene? Or? They used to be, they used to be a really big rock scene, and there was like the Norwich circuit, and it's just slowly died. Half of the venues we used to play have now closed down. You look like you want to say something. This is awesome. I'll have to do another interview when you get famous. And yeah. <laughs> and I think one of the things I read about you guys is that you like activists and you yeah. play a lot of protest marches. And I don't know if I'd ask this because I'm not very heavily political. Yeah. But what cause are they fighting for at the moment? Um, we're doing a lot for like austerity against the Tory government. We were hoping to be up here yeah. when the protests were on in Manchester. We saw the tour dates, we were like, yes, maybe at Coa Lines, but they all went home yesterday. So we're like, oh well. We're doing the Occupy Daily Mail, which gets the Daily Mail newspaper. That's in two weeks time? Yeah, October 23rd to 26th, it's in London. And the same what we did for The Sun, we're going to be setting up outside their front doors, playing a gig as part of the protest against like, the climate change. And recently we went to London, where was that? The Excel Centre for yeah. Stop the Arms Fair, we were all queued up outside stopping the big lorries coming in with the weapons and stuff. So, yeah. but at the moment, it's mainly just on stage, we've written a song about the NHS, and a lot of people don't know about TTIP, which is coming in, which is going to slowly dismantle things like the NHS, but it will happen behind doors where people don't know about it. So, we thought if we can use our music to kind of tell people about it, they may hopefully look into it. Well, it's good that you're doing that. I mean, I'm in PCS Union, so obviously we sent marches for the Austerity March. Yeah, was that for the big People's Assembly? Uh, the one in Manchester. Oh, the Manchester as well. Well, we probably did send people out. Yeah. People out but I, there was a lot of people went to the Manchester yeah. one. I'm too lazy. I'm <laughs> the it's London good one that was people three do miles. actually get and do that, so, you know. Yeah. It's good that you're doing that. Um, so I did mention, we've mentioned the Burning Crows and Bad Touch. Any yeah. other bands around North that we should look out for? Go on then, come on. Run Like Rivers. Run They're like one of rivers. Dom's favourite bands. They're a pop punk band, aren't they? I am yet to see them, but Dom has not stopped talking about them, so yeah, <laughs> normally if Dom likes them, they're not too bad. Wicked Faith are another good one, because they've got the same sort of political stance as us. They're yeah. female fronted, got really good vocals. Yeah, they're really good. Alright, let's we'll have a look out for those, and you've got had two EPs out, Danger yeah. of Rock, and your current one of the Ignite the Fire. Yeah. So that'll be on sale tonight. And some yeah, we've, right. we've got both of them on sale with us, so that's all good. Mm. DVD. Any, any more in the offering at the moment? Um, we're going into the studio, we got offered something in London. I'm not sure how much we can talk about it, but we're going to be releasing three songs, possibly doing a new EP coming out next year, and see where that goes. We've got a few new songs we want to push out, so... New music video, hopefully, coming out for a new song called Know Your Enemy in December. Alright, so, yeah, look out for the new video. So you've got Sheffield tomorrow, is it yeah. Corporation? Yeah, yeah Corporation. Yeah, we'll that, and then Amsterdam on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. that'll be good fun. Should be, and after that, what's coming up for Shop Hazard after um, those um, two gigs? We're well, straight into the studio, filming the music video, and we're in talks with Biters, possibly doing some more dates in Europe, and same with one of their friends bands called Las Vegas. I've seen Las Vegas, I think they're they amazing. Yeah. Incredible guys, and we did a month long tour with them in Europe last year, and then I drove them on their skin road tour. So we're really good friends, they sent me an email a couple of weeks ago saying we want to come back over and do stuff, so hopefully that's around February, March time, which will be good. Box, you, make, you guys were meant to play, but for some reason you didn't play. Yeah, we were meant to do the remember. UK dates, but we, would, we were still on tour with Cheap Thrill. So we never got to play the England dates, then we just went straight out to Europe. Hopefully, we'll be on tour with the Las Vegas. What, any dates in mind? Um, hopefully February time, but yeah. it's going to be England and Europe this time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that should be good. So, 
So we'll wrap up now then. So any final message before you go? Come on, go. Attempt something. <laughs> Three words. I have no idea what he meant. No, no. <laughs> Normally he says keep calm, get fucked. <laughs> and that's how he wraps it up. No, he's shaking his head. Is he one of the back of the No. Oh, well, if we give him a mic, we normally turn it off. He, he talks while he drums. So. Alright, thank you for speaking to us guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.